Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a really fun video. Bunky is actually having all of his best guy friends over and they are doing their fantasy football draft so I know he's very excited and we are going to grill out smash burgers later but while they do their draft I thought it would be fun to make some little snacks for them. So I'm going to share three very simple, very easy, few ingredient appetizer recipes with y'all. What is this? What? Who's going to be your number one draft pick? Um, Bunky. By the time they see this, you'll have already done no, it. No, I'm saying you should know. Oh. You, you, it depends on what draft slot I get. If I have the first pick, it's going to be a certain person. If I have the 10th pick, it's going to be a different person. Who do you want first? That's impossible to answer. It depends on what draft position. Oh I my can. goodness I can't, gracious. I can't tell. These are trick. These are no. loaded questions. Okay. They say. Y'all tell us down below in the comments if your husband gets as excited as Mr. B does about his fancy football team. It's draft day, baby. <laughs> Okay, so for this first recipe, all you're gonna need is three ingredients, and I think these are gonna be so good. So they're gonna be little everything but the bagel kielbasa bites. So you're gonna need one package of kielbasa, you're gonna need some crescent rolls, and then of course some everything but the bagel seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out, and then we will get our um, kielbasa wrapped up in it. Okay, so we're just gonna half this. I'm gonna take my first one, which would be like um, four individual little crescents, and I'm just gonna kind of like spread it out and pinch these seams together. Okay, so place one part of your little kielbasa on there and just wrap this up. And now we're just gonna sprinkle our everything with the bagel seasoning on here. So you wanna coat all sides, but this stuff is very powerful, so don't use too much. Oh no, you can overdo it. <laughs> you can always knock that stuff off of there, you know, if you got too much. Yeah. Kind of press it in there so it gets like down in the dough. Sorry, sometimes I just get so excited to watch what's actually happening. <laughs> that you forget you're filming? Mm-hmm. Is that good, you think? Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good coverage there. Okay, okay, so now you're gonna take this and you're just gonna cut like little bites. Hmm. You want them to be about an inch thick. So this is kind of like uh, pigs in a blanket, but more grown up style. Yes. That looks like a lot of uh, pig to blanket. <laughs> okay, now I gotta do our other kielbasa. And then you're gonna take the rest of your crescent roll, which should be the exact same amount, roll it out and do the exact same process. Quite the delight. Yes. All your this friends. is almost something I would really, maybe even want to just eat for breakfast. Right? Yeah. yeah. I feel like there's lots of ways you could make this or like different seasonings, but the area of the bagel is going to be so good. Okay, so now these are going into the oven at 350 for like 9 to 12 minutes, and that is it. These are the most simple little bites ever. And also, I was going to say, the key to this is once they come out, you want to let them like cool completely. So give them about 10 minutes, and that way the bread like adheres to that sausage really well and doesn't come like unraveled. Mm. Okay, so this next recipe is my favorite, and I've made this one other time. It was quite a while ago, and I'm not kidding when I tell y'all. I think about this recipe all the time, and I have not made it ever since so I cannot wait for this. I'm gonna like crash all fancy football party so I can have some of this and this one is only four ingredients and also only gonna take about 10 minutes. So simple. You know when you uh, made this last? 
It was for football something. No, no. What it was, was it? It was New Year's Eve. Oh, yes, New Year's Eve. Okay. But not this year. It was the year before. So, we are doing our little, like, biscuit gorgonzola pull-apart bread. Oh, my gosh. So good. So, you'll need some gorgonzola cheese. You can also use blue cheese if you want to. The gorgonzola is just a little bit milder. So, you'll need one container of that. You're also going to need some garlic and then about half a stick of butter. I'm going to go ahead and melt this, and then we're going to add some garlic to it and we're gonna cut up our biscuits into like little cubes and roll these around in the garlic butter. I was gonna say I'm really excited about those kielbasa things. You really are? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad I you're mean, gonna... I know this is good but like that I'm real excited for. Okay, so to my melted butter, I'm gonna add in a good amount of garlic. You can kind of add in however much you want. And then we are going to, let's do a little bit more, a little juice. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and then we're just gonna pour this all over top of these um, biscuits and kind of toss them. That way they're just like really evenly coated. Yeah, I want, I want butter all over them biscuits. Butter on the biscuits. I feel like it helps them pull apart better too. I think so too. So give these a good toss. My goodness. This is going to be so good. I feel like there's so many recipes that you can make with biscuit dough. Just from a can. From a can. Okay, now to this, we're just going to top it with our gorgonzola cheese. Look, it's Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to his cheese. Kenny, yeah, Kenny right. with the famous cheese dip. I know that'll be on there. <laughs> So next we're just going to pop these into the oven at 375 and they take about 20 to 30 minutes so just keep an eye out until they are nice and golden brown. These just came out and they look so good so I'm going to let them rest for about 10 minutes. Oh my god. They're really so good. This is amazing. Oh yay! It's so easy. I guess you probably have to have a uh, preference for everything bagel seasoning, but if you do, this is really good. Good. Does this not look amazing? It is one of my all-time favorite appetizers. Y'all have to try this one. Okay, so before we get started on this third recipe, I wanted to take a second and thank Kara for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I love my Kara vitamins. I've been taking them for probably almost two years now, so let me show you which ones I take. So right now I am taking the Focus, Energy, Relaxation, and then I always take the multivitamin for women. Sometimes I switch up my other ones depending on what I need right then. And if you don't know what Care Of is, they are a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins right to your door every single month. And now you can actually shop their new retail line that is exclusively at Target. Care Of makes it easy for you to find the right products for your specific needs. They offer three multivitamin options and five targeted blends. That way you can mix and match and build your own customized supplement routine, whether that's online or right on the aisle at Target. Care Of's Target line is sugar-free, gluten-free, vegetarian, and free from unnecessary fillers. And I love that they don't have a strong smell. It's more of like a light, pleasant vanilla scent, which is so nice. And if you want to try Care Of, be sure to click the link down below to get 20% off of all Care Of products at Target. It's available this week only, and you can also check out the collection in-store and on Target.com. Okay, so it is actually the next morning. I never got a chance to end up making my third recipe yesterday before Bunky's friends got here. I wanted them to be able to have their time, so I went out, got my nails done. What else did I do? Stopped in the Target, you know, all the usual things. And we are leaving this morning for Tennessee, so my straightener and my curling iron is already packed, so 
ignore my poofy hair. <laughs> but we decided we still wanted to make these little pizza bombs that I'm about to make because we don't really wanna have to stop on our way to Tennessee. So we thought these would actually be perfect for our little road trip. They're like handheld, Bunky can eat them while he's driving the camper. So Bunky used to have these whenever he was a little kid. This is Bunky's, um, I don't wanna say his recipe, but he requested this. Yeah. Now the only thing is, I really don't quite, we both don't quite know what kind of bread his mom used. <laughs> yeah. We called her and she said, Parker style rolls. So we have the Sister Schubert Parker house style rolls. We have let them thaw, they were frozen. Mm -hmm. I have crescent rolls on backup just in case these go south. Oh no. <laughs> but all you're gonna need is some yeast rolls, some mozzarella, and some pepperoni. So again, only three ingredients, so simple, and they shouldn't take long at all. All right, sister, let's see what you got. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> <laughs> we just are not sure this is the right thing. Oh, I'm, I feel like we were. These are supposed to be more like a uh, like a yeast roll that's soft. This this can't be right. No, but look, you can kind of smush it down. Oh, no, I don't think so, babe. Okay, y'all. These are still very tasty. Maybe we should just cook these. I'm getting the crescent rolls out. Get the crescent rolls out, babe. Sister Schubert. We still love you. Okay, so now we are just gonna put our little pepperonis and mozzarella cheese in our crescent roll. I'm gonna dust them lightly with a little bit of melted butter, Parmesan, and some Italian seasoning on top. Ooh, honey. You know what I, <laughs> you know what I realized though that we won't have? Well, I guess we could kind of heat it up. Like a little side of marinara to dip them in. Yeah, if we just put it in a- uh, Little you container? Know, yeah, a container now, set it on the dashboard. That sun will just you heat know it right little, up. You that little spot, the little tray on the dash? Yes. That thing is like a, I mean, you don't ever, I'm sure people know this, but you put anything that's metal up in that thing and then grab it. It's hot. You are it's like our own little oven. Yeah. We like always had a little bag of pepperonis in our refrigerator. B's been telling me these little uh, pizza bites or pizza bombs, whatever you want to call them, are like going to take him back to his child. <laughs> they already have. The memories are flooding back. Okay, Bunky wants four pepperonis per roll. So I'm just kind of like staggering them. Yeah, they can, the pepperoni I feel like can kind of be out the edge a little bit. You yeah. Know? The cheese though, we want to stay in there. Because, yes, we don't want that leaking out on us. Sister Schubert. Bonky. Listen here, buddy. Now, how am I going to roll this up with this shredded cheese? I got you. Well, just let's get all the cheese a little more centralized here. And then we're going to tuck. Look at this technique. Where, what did I roll up that one time? I was rolling up the uh, enchiladas. Oh, remember? yeah, yeah, yeah. Loosely. We want a loose roll. There we are. Okay. Look at that little guy, huh? Well, you know what? You just earned yourself a job. I did, didn't I? I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> All right, I got it. What is this? What is this? What? What is this? Oh my goodness. Are they taking your thing? Are they taking spaghetti pie from you? I, they trying. They trying. This is an insult. <laughs> I like to be very gentle with the crescent rolls, you know? Mm hmm Because I like them to get... I like the fluffy puffiness. I feel like if you press and smush them too much, they get, uh, they don't rise and get as, you know, airy and flaky as one would like. Right. Okay, popping these into the oven at 350 for like 12 to 14 minutes. I almost forgot our Parmesan and Italian seasoning. So I'm just gonna actually spray the tops of these lightly with some parquet.
Okay, these look so good. They were in there for probably about 14 to 15 minutes, but they are going to be delicious. Mm -hmm. I know somebody that is very excited that about them. That looks real yummy. You touch them, I, you know, I think they might need to go back in there for a few more minutes. Why? Yeah. Because I like mine overcooked. I okay. like them nice and brown. Okay, Bunky likes his overcooked, so I'm going to actually stick these back in here for just like two more minutes. But if you like yours soft and fluffy, just do it for like the 14 to 15. All right, y'all, so that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed making these little appetizers with me. If you try any of them, let me know what you think. Also, don't forget to check out Care Of down below in my description box. I love you guys so much. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.